my name's Alan Hart and today I'm just at a boiler service. Um, I installed this boiler and it's a bit of a different job to be honest. I had a floor standing boiler in this house and the customer wasn't sure if they wanted a combi boiler or not, they wanted to leave the airing cupboard in. Um, so what we've done is we've put them a combi boiler in and we've put on an S plan and we've made it so that there's an option for a tap to work downstairs if they want. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look now and, and I'll show you what, we, what we've done. So I've installed a Baxi Platinum and the Baxi Platinum comes with a 10 year parts and labour warranty. Obviously on the Platinum it's got a built in expansion vessel. On this particular job what I've done is, this is normally boxed in but just to show you um, I've took all the boxing off, the well, customer actually took it all out for us. We've got a Nest thermostat in here. And this has been installed onto a S-Plan system. And it's also got a filter on there as well. So how this works, HW hot water. So that goes up to the hot water cylinder. And then we've got heating there, this one. And that goes to the central heating. And then if we have a look there, we've also got a bypass on this. And then we've got an, uh, an expansion vessel. We've put an extra expansion vessel in, just in case, or you can never have too much of an, too big an expansion vessel. So I've put a, an extra one in and that'll just help the system in the future. Just come upstairs now. And this is a little bit awkward to say, but we've got a hot water cylinder on this one. So we've run, um, we've run a combi. We've put the combi on an S plan and then we've still connected a hot water cylinder into it. And this runs on a nest. And this is controlled with a nest thermostat. And that controls the hot water for the cylinder. And then it controls the heating as well. The customer can use that on the app on the phone. If we have a look inside the Baxter Platinum boiler, we can see it's got stainless steel heat exchanger. So that's gonna be reliable. As I say, it's got a 10 year warranty on this boiler. It's also got a little gutter or a little part there. And what that does is, if you get any water coming down the outer flue, it'll go into this here. And it'll drain down this pipe here instead of going into the boiler. So what you often see is when you come to these, even when they're six, seven, eight years old, they still look like brand new inside. So I'm just going to do a service on this now. If you've got any questions regarding how this is piped, then please ask them in the comments below. I did all the wiring on this. I wired this nest in here. Fairly simple job. And it's all done with press fit as well. It's all clipped. As I say, this is normally boxed in. That's the brickwork from the old floor standing boiler. So we try and cut out the old bricks and make them as good a match as possible for the customer. That's how I've done the condensate pipe on this. As I say, this has been done now for 12 months just to protect it so it doesn't freeze. Just gonna test this with analyzer. We'll test the high and low and just put that onto the gas valve. And as we're testing it, we can print it out and we can show that on, for instance, low, it was a certain burner pressure. And then on high, again, we can print and prove that the burner pressure or the inlet pressure, sorry, is correct. To put this into service mode so we can check it on high and low, just waggle that, like that. 
that'll go into service mode to put it onto high and change that to there on this one I've manually opened both zone valves so that we've got flow through the system so we've just done that on high now and then we're printing printing that out and now I'm going to put it onto low on here so just turn this down put it onto low and I'll print it out I'll print it out on low once that's settled I'll look at the pressures there once that settles down we'll print that out as well and then I'm also going to check on here I'll check this one which is the air integrity to make sure that the air is not mixing and make sure the flow is okay so I've put that test pipe back in now and we're checking the flow integrity on there I've put the boiler back into high or service mode and then we can just check that it's all okay with analyzer let that settle down and then we can also print that out as well so we've got total proof that when we left it, everything were okay. And then when I take this tube off on gas valve, I'll also spray that to make sure it's safe. Always make sure you check that you've got no gas leaks after. So this is where I've had the hose on for testing for inlet pressure. So I've just sprayed that now. So the purpose of this video really is just to show you, you can still adapt systems to suit what you want to adapt them to so in this particular case later on the customer is going to remove the hot water cylinder but at the time of doing the the boiler um, they just wanted a boiler and to get it working and they didn't want um, all the disruption upstairs because they're going to be doing other other things later but for now we can put a combi in we can make the hot water work via via that cylinder with power shower pumps or whatever depending on what anybody's situation is also an, another another solution might be if you've got one tap and it's miles away from the rest of the circuit in the house it may be that the the boiler might be in that location so you could put a combi in and then you could use that combi to feed that one tap and then run the system on an S plan again. So the the rest of the house, say it's got power showers and things like that that run off the hot water cylinder, then um then the system also would, would work that way as well. So there's lots of different options. It's good if you can, if from if, if from the start you could put like an open vent, um, not an open vent, if you could put um, like a system boiler in and you could put an unvented and then you could pipe it all as you want, all in a perfect world. But that, that doesn't happen most of the time when we're changing things over. What happens is customers end up just getting a combi and it might not be the right solution for them. So it's just trying to, you know, trying to adapt, um, get the right solution for them really. Do what you can with what you've got. Um, I hope I haven't babbled on too much with that. Um, yeah, well, if you've got any questions, please ask them in comments below. And um, thank you. Thank you for watching.